couple of reels that have a really cool toenail to show you. Um, it's ingrown on both sides. And this little piece, do you recall when that started to pop up like that? Is it Was it traumatized or damaged in any way? Not that it just started popping up and it's been probably like started that way for about two months. Interesting. I wonder if there's going to be anything underneath there because sometimes we can get a little bit of a, a spur or even a tumor or something growing under there that's causing this to grow. So we'll be talking tumors. But yeah, <laughs> most of the time it's fine, but it's pretty unique. So we'll explore together and figure out what it is. So let's get you numbed up first and then a little cold spray bee sting. I'll take a double dose of and I put, I'll put extra cold spray for you. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Quick little stick. And if I see anything of concern growing underneath there, I'll definitely send that to the lab. How you doing up there? What you need. Yeah, don't watch this down here. Go to your happy place. Yeah, I couldn't imagine golfing with this. Go. So are you a three time a week golfer or just a occasional? Oh, I live on a golf course. Okay, oh wow. Go anytime I want to. Well, did they give you a handicap because of this? Uh, yes. <laughs> One more and you're done, okay? Hard part's almost over. After this, you're not gonna feel much of anything. Yeah. Yeah, you okay? Oh yeah. Never better, right? Oh yeah. Almost there. You're doing great. All right, good. Perfect. All right. Torture's over. Let's let it get nice and numb. That's going to get numb all the way from where you're going to cut off? All of it, yes. You're not going to feel anything. Maybe a little pressure in me moving around. And then we'll get exploring here. It almost looks like there's something causing it to grow this way. Yeah, like it's know. an extra piece of nail. Oh. All right, we'll give a second, we'll get everything ready. You guys can see. So now you guys are back. Let's go digging and find out what's in here. First, let's just test to make sure he's nice and numb. Feel anything? Good. You let me know if you change your mind. I will. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get this side first. So you, there's been no trauma to the nail. That's the interesting part. It's like, what could have caught? I did see in there that you had used a Dr. Scholl's uh, ingrown toenail remover. Yes, Was this here when you used that? Yes. Sir. It was, okay. So would you say you're not endorsing Dr. Scholl's court <laughs> remover? Yes, it basically just softens the nail and oh, thank you. And doesn't really remove. It's kind of like if you have a large foreign body in your uh, toe and you put something on there to soften it. Well, it's not really going to help until you remove it. So are you taking the whole off? No, 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 no. I'm just taking out the ingrown parts. I've got to see what's going on. And I'll wait on the vinegar because I want to get this other side out first. All right, let's dig over here. Let's see. This is what is interesting because Did you have a thicker nail or anything like that before all this stuff came up? Not that I know of. Not that you know of, okay. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this big hunk. Good. I've been trying to, it wouldn't work for me. I was gonna say, all right, let's get see what this is. So it really looks just like there was multiple layers of fungus um, digging in. Let's get that out of the way. Go on the side so that big hunk is off. Doesn't appear that anything is growing underneath here. 
that would have caused it. So that's good. Loosen that up. Do you use Vic Sav or something on here? Huh? It's very soft, the nail. Do you use Vic Sav or? No, just Dr. Schultz. Oh, you're still actively using it. Okay. I use some other stuff too before I started using Dr. Schultz. Because it's all just kind of real soft and crumbly. But that could be from the, the fungus as well. These little guys are bent where I need to fix these. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Okay, well it's completely out. All right, well let's get the medicine on this side and you're almost done. Not too bad, huh? What about the other side? I've already done the other side. I've got a black thing still on there. The black thing? Yeah, right on the side of it. I'm gonna use the vinegar. That's the chemical I put on so it doesn't come back. Oh. But the nail's gone. Almost there. Okay. And what about that big thing that was on the top? It's gone. Next it. time next time you come in, I'll show you in just a second, we're gonna use a Dremel to smooth it down. I don't wanna use a Dremel today to make it perfectly smooth, just because I don't want any of the fungus getting into the uh, open wounds or any debris. Now I would likely expect some scabbing around those edges next time so we'll get all that cleaned up look at this nail it's so soft oops what was that it's almost like it's just wanting to layer this little piece here that's just hmm interesting The new nail coming in is just pushing this nail up. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, let's get it wrapped up here. You wanna use that? Great, thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching a really cool and grown toenail. Nothing growing underneath, which is good for this gentleman. Um, so it should heal up quite nicely. Give me questions, comments, drop them below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.